Now, if you're anything like me, you probably have a lot of different tabs open in your Safari browser. These could be things that you're researching for a variety of different classes, maybe some things that you use at home, or things that you're just doing to kill some time. The problem is, is when you have so many different tabs open, it's hard to remember which one is for which, and jumping back and forth can sometimes be a pain. Uh, if you tap on the four squares in the upper right-hand corner, this will actually show you how many tabs you have open all at one time. So I'm going to go ahead and hit Done. And we're going to talk today about a new feature called Tab Groups. And this is a way to help organize your tabs for later without having to have 50 different tabs open all at once. So in the upper left-hand corner, I have a sidebar that I can turn on in Safari. And I can tap on that button at any time to open up the sidebar view. Now from here, I have a button in the corner that shows two squares on top of each other with a plus sign. This will create what's called a tab group. So if I click on that, it asks me, do I want to create a new empty group or a new group with all of the tabs I currently have open? So if I had a whole bunch of websites already open about a specific thing, I could have it automatically make a tab group with all of those. But chances are you have a lot of tabs open. So I'm going to go ahead and just make an empty group here. And I'm going to call it SS Project because these all have to do with my social studies project that I'm doing. And I tell it to save. So now I have a tab group over here called Social Studies Project. Now right now my tab group is empty. But if I go up here to nine tabs, this shows me all the tabs I have open. And then any tabs that relate to my Social Studies Project, all I have to do is tap on the name of that tab right up here at the top and click and hold down and drag it on top of that. And it will remove it from my main tab window and it moves it into this group. So the best way to think about tab groups is to think of them as kind of folders to organize and sort your tabs. So I can take every tab that has to do with my social studies project and just drag it on top of that tab group. And then they will always be there and be organized anytime I am working on that project. Now, I'm also doing some research for something on photosynthesis for science. So, same deal. I can click on my plus sign up here at the top and create another new empty tab group. And I'll just call this photosynthesis and save it. And again, I get a new tab group, which right now is empty. But I can go up here to my six tabs that I currently have open and find any tab that exists and simply drag it into that tab. Now, if you're anything like me, you may see some things throughout the day where you want to go back and check those things out later, but you probably don't have time to look at those things now. So I may even decide to make a tab group and call that group things to check out later. And anytime I find something that I think is cool as I'm working throughout my day, I can go ahead and take those things and say, hey, this is a really cool trailer I want to see, so I'm going to drag that in here and then maybe when I get home or if I have some free time, I can simply go back and get to those things to be able to check those out later as I need to. So how do I get to tab groups when I'm using Safari? So now you'll notice, hey, all my tabs are gone. So anytime I need to get to those tab groups and jump into those tab groups, I can do it one of two ways. I can either click on my bookmark sidebar here on the left and simply tap on a tab group and it opens all of those tabs up at once. or if I go back to my tab here and close this tab group, over here on the right, I have a Windows option that shows me all the things I have open. And I have an option up here to be able to jump to my main tab group or things that I wanted to check out later, photosynthesis or my social studies project. And again, all I have to do is simply click on this and it'll open up all of the tabs that are in that group. I can simply hit the plus sign to add more. I can search through these if I need to. Um, and I get full access to all of those tabs. And anytime I jump into that group, all of the tabs from that group are gonna be there at the same time. And now when I'm in this group, if I wanted to add another tab, once I've already created the group, all I gotta do is hit the plus sign and start doing my research on it. And it will simply add those tabs uh, to that group at the same time. Now, another way I could organize my tab groups is by tapping on these four dots in the upper right hand corner. And then if I simply tap and hold down on any individual tab, I have the ability here to move this to a tab group. 
And if I click the triangle next to it, it'll show me my tab groups, or I can create a new one from here as well. Now, another really cool use of tab groups is if I started my class period with an empty set, that means anything that I'm doing that I'm working on, maybe I have Canvas open here, maybe I have an assignment that I'm working on in Canvas, maybe I have some of the research that I'm doing, at the end of the hour, all I have to do is tap on this little sidebar on the left and hit my tab group option and say new tab group from four tabs. This will take all of the tabs that I had open in that hour and it allows me to put it in a group that I could even call them Tuesday Social Studies and hit save. And this will put all of those together Yet now when I'm done and I go to the next hour, I'm starting with a blank page, no tabs open. And when I get to social studies again tomorrow, all I have to do is go back and click on social studies. And then there are all the tabs I had open from yesterday without having to try to remember where I left off and which things that I had and where they were. So it's a really fun, easy way to group your stuff together to make it easy to get to.